Kia ora kato and thank you for having me. Um, uh, I'm Alex West from the Bank of New Zealand and uh, I work within the Growth Sectors team. Uh, so I will cover off uh, who our Growth Sectors team is, our why, what we do and most importantly how we can support the seaweed industry. Uh, all of these topics will be covered off at a high level so if there is anything that interests you throughout uh, we'll be happy to discuss the areas in detail today or at a later time. So Growth Sectors is growing New Zealand's prosperity by growing New Zealand's businesses and their people. Ultimately, we exist as a team to create what we like to call virtuous circles. If we grow our customers, they're going to employ more people, then we're going to con be contributing more to society, and therefore more prosperity for all New Zealanders. BNZ sees the seaweed industry as one, of the, one with potential to grow New Zealand's prosperity. Uh, yep. Our team supports seven core growth sectors. So international, it's led by Evan Vezer, uh, technology Industries, Tim Wixon, Export Business, Jason Reeves, who's here today, uh, Professionals, Greg Burnett, Asia Business, Frankie Wang, Health, Tom McKenzie, and Māori Business, Fetuirangi. Supported by other members of the team, um, our General Manager, Brandon, uh, Brandon Jackson, Business Activation across the top there, Business Development, Head of Private Capital, Linda Sturgis, um, our BDMs, and myself representing sustainability for our team. The reason Jason and myself are here today is because we believe there is strong sustainability and export potential for, within the seaweed industry, as well as plenty of synergies within our technology industry sector. Additionally, the true value of our growth sectors team is how easily we can cross collaborate to support outcomes for our customers, leveraging all of the expertise that sit within this team. So our why, and the mantras you live by. We live by quite a few, um, however I'll cover off a few of my favourites. One that should be obvious is getting in early to develop sunrise and high revenue industries. That one's always right at the top there. Next, one of our key differentiators is the third leg of the stool. So what does this mean? Uh, put simply, it means realising the potential of a commercial bank to help government achieve its policy and strategy objectives and the private sector to achieve its entrepreneurial ambitions. Government sets policy and can open doors that no one else can but it can't push business through them. The private sector is bursting with energy, entrepreneurial spirit and ideas, but is prone to duplicating costs, replicating mistakes, and thereby wasting a lot of time, money, and opportunity. A commercial bank is, by its role, a significant stakeholder in our customers, and we can help prevent a lot of the duplication and errors with the networks and expertise we can help customers access. In addition to the core role of providing funding, and banking, and banking products and services. We have seen when you have a commercial bank aligned to both government and the private sector, and all three are rowing in the same direction, it's very powerful. It's New Zealand Inc at its best. So lastly, at the representative for sustainable finance, I love the here in 100 years mantra. We need to take an intergenerational approach to business as the and the world as a whole, not one year, five years, 10 years, or even one generational span. An intergenerational 100 year time frame means we must look at the way we set companies up for success and the way we fund them differently. This also plays true for the bank. We also need to think differently and adapt to future funding methods if we, if we were to remain relevant in 100 years as well. So, what do we do and how you can work with us? We target and tailor solutions for customers that are operating in emerging and high growth potential markets. As mentioned before, we see the seaweed industry as one of these. One of the most important takeaways from this presentation is that our team supports our entire network of bankers to look at customers beyond traditional financing. Of course, all our risk considerations are still at play, but we manage future risk by identifying industries that have potential long term and support customers to get to that position. We also look at alternative funding structures, structures that enable us to get into the market early, provide debt, our core business as a bank, and get the risk and reward trade-off balance right. So I'll run through a couple of the, uh, these funding structures now. Uh, you can see them up on the screen there. The first one is revenue-based finance. We wanted the ability to enter the tech funding market, as this is, and it has been for decades now, a space of, uh, of huge growth. 
Our head of technology set up a funding structure called Revenue Based Finance, an offering that was set up for the software as a service in a market within the tech industry. Ultimately, by setting up our credit risk appetite differently, it offers customers the ability to meet servicing based on their revenue, not their product profit as we do traditionally. That one is tech orientated. The second example is also born out of the tech space, but has wide ranging ability to operate across all sectors, specifically clean tech. It's called contracted receivables, and it's conceptual at this point or at this stage, but has been given the green light to pilot within BNZ. It is intending to fill the gaps where traditional funding can't support uh, high growth or startup climate in clean tech. So we fund against large contracts and agreements via a counterparty. For example, the counterparty would be a large customer that we can guarantee is reputable and will see out the contract. We then base our ability to service the debt based on the likelihood the contract income will be received. Knowing then the repayments can be made, we're not inhibiting the ability for the company to grow. The best part about funding this way is that bank debt is also non-dilutive. You don't have to give away part of your company to access the capital. We see the seaweed industry as an industry that can benefit from an offering such as this. The innovation and growth as a future industry funding company will not stop here, however. We're continually looking to expand our offerings as a team. These funding structures are special because they are the first ever BNZ mandates to finance ahead of break even or pre profit. Not looking at just accounting statements, but have the potential for high growth. Unlocking growth potential requires us to dig deeper into the industry. We need to know in order to grow. It's a belief that holds true across all BNZ growth sectors, and we've seen time and time again that insights open doors to opportunities. We're constantly gathering data and expert opinions to inform and support our customers, and it's the reason we're here today. Now on the other side here, we've got sustainable finance. And for industries that can prove their sustainability credentials, we can overlay sustainable finance offerings. We see the seaweed industry as one that will contribute towards ours and New Zealand's climate change requirements and provide opportunity from a social aspect for regional communities. There are a range of propositions that we can overlay to a customer's lending. It is important to note that it is an overlay. Sustainable financing works with existing lending or, or instruments. Tailored solutions to suit sustainable ambitions such as green loans, which is a use of proceeds based product, which ultimately means if you are looking to fund either a project or an asset or something for a full amount, you can get a green loan as long as we can prove that that full amount is being utilised for, uh, for that purpose. We have a set of eligible categories that we look to uh, continually upgrade and understand what fits within sustainable finance uh, and if it fits within that project scope, we can look to fund under a green loan. Uh, the, other, the other side of it is what we call sustainability linked loans, uh, and these are behavioural or all of business based lending. So ultimately, we can look to fund, uh, fund something against a set of KPIs that you have over a multiple set of years, um, and you can be rewarded as you achieve those milestones. You can use the funding within those propositions for anything, um, CAPEX, OPEX, anything, as long as you uh, fit within or working towards those material KPIs for your business. The overall benefits are wide ranging for sustainable finance. Um, however, the key ones are the reputational gains you will see uh, to your brand amongst customers and suppliers, as well as pricing discounts for operating sustainably and decarbonising the bank's wider portfolio and the country's emissions. I'd be happy to talk to any of these offer offerings in further detail at any time. To summarise, we are a team with a wide range of specialist knowledge and abilities to support industries that will grow New Zealand's prosperity. Through guidance, non-traditional funding structures and sustainable finance, we aim to support the seaweed industry here in New Zealand. <laughs>